Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Cassette, here with the next video. And this is for those of you Town Hall 9s that have lower level heroes and want to be able to three star other Town Hall 9 bases consistently, including, you know, mid to max level Town Hall 9 bases. Uh, not the easiest to three star when you have low level heroes, talking below level 15 for the most part, um, around below 20 at least, if not below 15. And when you're in that situation, if you follow these tips, you're going to be better off uh, because there's things you want to do and things you don't want to do when you have low-level heroes. And if you can maximize the strengths of a Town Hall 9 account with low-level heroes and minimize the, uh, the drawbacks or the weaknesses being your low-level heroes, you can still have a pretty good shot. Not as good if you had 30-30 heroes. But if you follow these tips, you can have a pretty good shot of three-starring Town Hall 9 bases consistently. Uh, it takes some practice, but if you if you kind of follow the guidelines, you'll start to see what I mean as you take a look at different bases. So um, not all the bases I'm going to show are going to be this low level. This is a pretty easy base to three-star, even with low-level heroes. But um, the first point I want to briefly make is that it's often overlooked, but if you have um, the ability to overpower a base, just do it. Now, this kind of assumes you have max level Valks. Valkyries are the best way to just overpower a base when you don't necessarily have high level heroes. Don't try to do a fancy attack on these bases. Just go in, uh, overpower it, get the job done. It's not going to be the cleanest attack, but it's going to be a successful attack, much more likely than if you try to get too fancy on these bases. Now, this base has Town Hall 8 level, <clears throat> Town Hall 8 level defenses, which makes it quite a bit easier um, to overpower. You can see also has max bowlers in the clan castle, which certainly doesn't hurt, but it's not necessary. I know a lot of people don't have access to them. So the um, you can bring other types of max ground troops like more Valks or a P.E.K.K.A. or something like that, even wizards in the CC um, if, if necessary. The main thing is having those uh, max Valks, which is why I always recommend um, at Town Hall 9, once you upgrade to Town Hall 9, as soon as your heroes are level 10 each, focus on maxing out your troops because upgrading Valks, Balloons, Hogs will do a lot more than upgrading your hero, your heroes one or two levels. Um, so it's a lot more bang for your buck if you spend your uh, Elixir and Dark Elixir on upgrading your troops before your heroes. Once your heroes are viable, meaning they're both level 10 and they can at least kind of carry some of their weight, get those Valks maxed out, get the Hogs maxed out, get the Balloons maxed out, and even your Lava Hounds, and then you can start to, uh, to do some of the more complex attacks. But get the Valks maxed out first probably because they're going to be your best tool for overpowering Town Hall 9 bases that are low level that have Town Hall 8 level defenses like this one. Um, so this is a good attack here because it doesn't try to be too fancy. There was a bit of a queen walk that kind of failed with the healers all getting shot down, but for the most part, a pretty straightforward attack. Now it's a simple point, but a lot of people don't do it because you see all the fancy attacks on YouTube and stuff like that. You don't have to do it if the base is not too high level. Um, so I think that point's been made. Let's take a look at a more tricky base here. Uh, this is Kiara and... Um, Nothing against Kiara, of course, but it's a bit of an example of what not to do, kind of. Um, not a bad attack, but if you have low-level heroes, this is the big thing I want to say in this video. You want to bring a big, heavy DPS kill squad. You don't want to go small with your kill squad. Just do like a suicide heroes like Kiara does, and then kind of go big with the Laloon. You want to invest a lot in the kill squad. And in the past, I've said um, something that might be a little bit contradictory, which is don't bring uh, a lot of golems if you have low-level heroes. And that's still true because golems aren't DPS troops. Golems are buying time for what is behind them. They tank and they let whatever's behind them shoot for longer um, or attack for longer. So golems aren't going to be very helpful because they're buying time for heroes that don't do much damage. And if you bring like just your heroes and two golems, that's not the best play because the golems will tank for a while, but you're still only getting low amounts of damage from your healers. You want to bring bigger kill squads um, in terms of damage. So Valks, Boulders, if you can get them, a lot of Wizards. Um, we'll see even some Giants, uh, some Pekkas. 
stuff that can hit pretty hard. And yes, Giants can do some serious DPS in big numbers under Rage spells. We'll take a look at an attack like that soon. But you want to bring the heavy DPS and go lighter on the defensive targeting troops. Now, this attack does not exactly do that. It does kind of the opposite. And that's part of the reason I think it wasn't quite as successful. It almost failed. It did get the 3-star ultimately due to good Laloon deployment. But the Queen didn't go down because he only used his heroes. And the level 17 heroes were not enough to step up and take out the Queen. Had they been higher level, yes, they would have. But the point is, you want to bring a big kill squad. And now someone might say to this, well, what if he just brought one golem and both his heroes and did that to take out the queen? That's still not the best investment because that one golem is going to buy his heroes enough time to take out the defensive queen probably, but still he's spending 30 troop space just for the defensive queen. So the more you add is going to go a lot farther than how to, would you otherwise spend that troop space on balloons, on hounds, on hogs if it's a hog attack. So you want to really buff up your kill squad in terms of DPS because it's going to be a lot more effective spent in your kill squad than it will be spent in hogs and balloons on the back end if you're bringing a heavy kill squad because you're already bringing your heroes anyway. You might as well support them with troops that will allow your heroes to do a good amount of damage despite being low level. Um, so I hope that makes sense. A little bit confusing, but you kind of have to trust me on this one. You want to bring big kill squads with high amounts of damage and then kind of a mid to smaller sized defensive targeting part of your attack. Of course, you can't kind of do a spam attack like this on high level bases. Um, not This wasn't a spam attack. You can't do a spam attack like the first one we saw which with a bunch of Valks, the overpowering attack. That's not going to work against max town nine bases. So once you get up to facing bases that are higher level than you, that have the max defenses, they might even have max heroes as well. Um, spend big kill squads, smaller defensive targeting on the back end. Let's go into the uh, most recent war here. Um, base number 20. Uh, where are we? This is... Um, this was a nice attack, and it's using HGHB, which we kind of faded out. We don't see it much at Town Hall 9 anymore in like One Hive Genesis in the competitive uh, max Town Hall 9 warplay. But it works out pretty well for low-level heroes, and the reason for that is it's, it's like I said, it's high amounts of damage in the kill squad. The giants are very powerful under rage. A group of 12 of them can take out defenses really, really quickly, and they fight through those walls very quickly as well. Um, so they are actually a pretty high DPS troop in big enough numbers, and they certainly are in an HGHB attack. The bowlers, of course, level 3 bowlers are killer, especially under those rage spells. If you um, don't have access to them, I recommend bringing Valks or a P.E.K.K.A. Now, you probably can't do this exact attack strategy because it works best with bowlers, but um, for a generic kill squad, you can bring Val uh, Valks, P.E.K.K.A. even, Wizards. I just go heavy in those troops, especially Valks. They are very good uh, if you have low-level heroes. They can supplement a kill squad very nicely. So this attack worked out nice because the heroes were kind of just picking up the scraps, the main thing, the main star of the show here were the DPS and the kill squad, the, the giants, the bowlers, those rage spells, and the healers keeping everything on up. A much smaller hog attack on the back side, I think 14 hogs, two heal spells, so about a medium sized hog uh, deployment on the back end of the base. But um, if I can explain this point a little more clearer, what I'm trying to say with the whole bring a heavier kill squad in terms of DPS is you're already bringing your heroes. You know you have to bite off at least some of the base with the kill squad. You can't just spam hogs and you can spam Laloon like a Penta, five Lava Hounds, like 20 Balloons. That works sometimes, but most of the time even that doesn't work. It's not the safest play to do. So when you're in that situation, um, you know you have to bring at least some type of kill squad. Instead of doing a small one and just having your heroes bite off a very small piece of the base with maybe one golem, you might as well invest more in there, supplement your heroes, and it will work exponentially in making that kill squad do more damage, and it'll be a much better play um, to invest the troop space in your kill squad rather than investing it in your um, in your back end Laloon and your hogs, whatever 
uh, defense targeting you're doing on the back end of the base. It's better spent in the kill squad if you bring the right troops that do high amounts of DPS because if you just bring golems and tanking troops that don't do a lot of damage, your kill squad's not going to have very much damage because the queen and the king aren't quite as heavy hitters uh, once they are uh, when they're still level 15 and below especially. So you want to have something that is durable like Valks, yet it still does enough damage to make the kill squad a threat and be able to take out a big part of the base. Now the reason I'm showing this last attack, it's not necessarily low level. I mean the heroes are 20-20, which is kind of mid-level for Town Hall 9, but the point I want to make is on this witch attack, which is very popular at Town Hall 9 these days, be careful as a low-level hero Town Hall 9 using this attack. I much more recommend doing a, probably the most uh, reliable attack is a Go Vaho, bringing a Golem, your heroes, some Valks in the kill squad, and using Hogs on the back end of the base, or doing that same thing but using Balloons and maybe one Lava Hound on the back end bringing a hybrid attack with like Valks or possibly Bowlers in the kill squad if you have access to those. Those are safer. This is more of a dangerous attack to do if you have low level heroes because it's dependent on your force that you send in the middle of your base, which is the, into the middle of the base, which is the Golem, your heroes, the Bowlers. It's dependent on them taking out the core because these witches that go around the outside are only effective if they're just taking out defenses in that first layer if there's still a bunch of expos and stuff like that left up in the middle of the base here, the witches are going to have a very hard time breaking back into the base and taking those troops out before they go down or taking out those defenses before they get shot down. So you got to be careful. Make sure your kill squad is big enough to take out the middle of the base. Otherwise, you can still have level 2 witches. They can still overpower the outside of the base like they do in any town from attack that you see. But if your kill squad doesn't take out the middle of the base, this attack can go very wrong. And if you have low level heroes, it's going to be difficult to get in there and get the entire core taken out. It was a little bit easier because the town hall, air defenses, a bunch of non-ground uh, targeting buildings were in there. But if it's a very dangerous core for your ground troops, you've got to be careful with the witch attack. I'd recommend go Vaho, go Valo. Um, with the Laloon on the back end, something like that if you have low-level heroes, but that's the gist of it. I hope it helped. The moral of the story is bring bigger kill squads in terms of DPS and try out those hybrid attacks. Those are going to be your best way to hide the fact that you have low-level heroes to make up for it, I should say, and to still have the best chance of three-staring a town for nine base. It's still going to be more difficult than if you had 30-30 heroes, of course. Um, that should be obvious, but it's going to be more going to have a better chance of doing it if you follow these tips. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.